Yes, yes, y'all. To the beat, y'all. Feel it free, y'all. We are playing the heads up and the six max. Let's get into it. <coughs> So this should be good. So flop top two. This guy I've seen him about on a better turn. And we're cool with the kings on the six max game. Um, they all look like regs. I'm not sure about this dude, but possibly. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and lead out with my set of kings. I can't expect this guy to like see better in position, um, like three ways. So. It's actually kind of a bad turn card for us just because it kills our action, but hopefully this guy is just going to call with a flush draw, but apparently not. So. And we get chick raised on 8 deuce 4. Just going to go ahead and fold my over pair. <clears throat> I mean, there is an argument just to checking when I turn quads there. Um, see what he does with his draws but I just think uh, players are much more likely to <clears throat> cool a bit with like a medium strength hand than actually to bet themselves I right, just go for a check here. probably fold and Definitely folding here. Maybe this guy is a weaker player. Who knows? See what he has. He's gone for the four bet. I mean, if he has aces, it's obviously whatever. But yeah, it's boring. They always have it. Aces and kings. Bink. Binks the two outer, my friend. And we'll go ahead and fold. So I've got some notes on the heads up, dude. Let's see what it says. Three bets double suited queens, but small on four, four, seven king. Bet small when he revved the flush. Triple barreled a lot. Check raise tops it on flop like they always do. Uh, no fold, bare aces on seven, eight, ten. All in. Roger that. Let's see what we can do. So, just had a workout. Feeling nice and strong, y'all. Suited ace, never folding. Could check raise this flop. Gonna lead the turn just for some protection. Get three bet. <clears throat> we are in position against this dude, but I mean, if I call, I think this guy's calling. Oh, you can't actually see it. Uh, open the sand, flat call on the button. This guy three bet, but I think if we flat call, this guy's always calling, and that just hand is our hand is just super weak. So, and it looks like this guy's leaving. So we're just gonna sit on the heads up table until we get action. Like, this is our table, never leaving. And it looks like this guy's leaving as well. Which will leave me on a table full of regs. 
not the best table, but literally nearly every table is like that here. So, it doesn't mean we can't beat them. We'll just be looking to uh, to bluff them slightly more than we would normally. Most of them are like multi-tabling and stuff. Quite rightly so. And we do pop second pair uh, and an open ender. And these is check raising. I've got only 400 hands on them. But check raising the flop like 8%. So it's obviously a nutty hand there. Like queen nine with diamonds, a rap with diamonds, or a set. We're in bad shape against all of the hands. So easy fold against the net. I'm going to try and find a better table here. I don't think there are any better tables, so we'll just we'll stick here, you know. We'll stick here and see how we can exploit some of these peoples. I'm just going to change my HUD settings here. So, I'm just trialing this new setup <clears throat> with the, uh, the full screen and the music. If this guy opens, we're going to be three betting probably. Just too tight, yo. Shrunk my table, doesn't it? Fuck. I think I can just do that. Yeah. I might just get on another table while we wait actually because uh, <coughs> these tables are going to be pretty boring with the, the players that are on them so but this table's just got exactly the same people on it kind of sucks really but uh, this table's at least got <coughs> different people on it so Get this set up here. Fooked it up. Oh, I'm just going to get it done. Bear with me, dudes. That's not the right table. 
this one there. Sweet. Alright, so we flopped the nut flush draw here in the gut shot after we've, we've raised pre flop. So, just betting here. See what happens. Won't be folding, obviously. But if they raise, they always just fucking have kings or jacks. That's the problem. They always just have kings or jacks, man. I'll see a turn card. I know they. I'm just gonna fold. <clears throat> If they weren't so nitty, I would just get it in, but uh, they only raise kings and jacks, you know. Just like it. Interesting. I'm thinking the. Uh, That now it, he might actually have a flush draw. No, it doesn't have kings and jacks. Might have like queen 10 with a queen of clubs. I guess not. And on this table, we've uh, got top pair. Now we have top two pair. And here we flop the third nut plus draw. Not folding. Could use our blockers here if we wanted to. We do have bottom wrap. Yeah, I don't know. That, that bet size is pretty small, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise with our queen blocker. We've got seven, seven for seven, ten blocker too. Um, we kind of have to fold here now that we've taken this line. Uh, it's unfortunate, but. We can't just be like calling with all our flush draws and stuff. We need to put some moves in there. Especially if these guys are like so nitty and they're betting like small. Like I think they're just folding so, so often. Right, so we've got some heads up action now. So this is gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Opening with our aces, no doubt. Wow, we play two hands on a heads up table and they leave. Good one. Flop and over pair and the nut flush draw. We've got the aces blockers. So I'm gonna go ahead and bet with the blockers here. I'm gonna try again to fold king queen. Good result for us.
I'm going to open here and see how he reacts with the uh, small blind to big blind and he folds so that's something I would never be doing right so we're just going to take advantage of their <coughs> uh, passiveness although it doesn't really make for an exciting video because you know just stealing pots uncontested is just not really that fun, but um, you know, it's got to be done. I choose to play on this site because the rake is just so small, and for like micro stakes PLO, it's uh, it's really good to have you know a good rake structure. Well, we get a donk and a call, but we are calling. When it checks to us, I only go ahead and bluff here. I've got four blocker. I don't expect anyone to have three, four that often. Now the deuce is not a great card. I'm gonna go ahead and bluff anyway. We block a 10 for like the full house. I think we could have bet smaller. Like maybe we could bet eight and still get two folds. But um, there's just so many draws that miss on that board. I definitely like bluffing the river. I mean, we have a 10 anyway. So we, we might be beating like, we might be winning some of the time however like they can still have like jacks with a flush draw they can still have like ace 10 king 10 um, so it's okay to bluff with a hand that has like some showdown value especially three ways I just feel like people only bluff with you know such a polarized range that they're just bluffing when they have the nuts or they have absolutely nothing at all like a, a busted jaw which makes it easier to play against so if you start putting in hands medium strength hands <clears throat> it makes it tougher for your opponent to cool you down We are in the big blind, right? So we we can have a lot of threes here. I'll go ahead and lead. Although there is a flush draw here, so I don't love it. If we uh, there wasn't a flush draw, I think it'd be a better play. However, I don't really like getting called by the small blinds because he's also the one that can have a three. So I'll just go for a check back then. Hopefully he just has an ace, but sure enough he has the three. So this table as well is uh, full of regs. Literally, I think this site is more reg infested than Poker Stars, man. 
So it's gonna fold here. So yeah, hoping for some more heads up action obviously because it's a bit more uh, <clears throat> involving shall we say. Yo. junk cans probably raise this on the button there Blockers, do we use them? Uh, I feel like I have to, yeah. We can actually turn a jack and we can turn a diamond. I would prefer it more if it wasn't. Yeah, right, buddy. I think he's full of shit so much here. Well, when I say full of shit, I mean like he's not just raising the straight but you could just have like kings with a kings with a flush draw uh you know two pair of the flush draw turn was actually the jack of diamonds wow 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 i'm gonna slow play my kings here this table this guy opened this guy called go for a raise now I mean, this guy actually doesn't have any money, so... Small in the small blinds against the big blinds. Flop the do par. Only keep betting here. So many draws he can still have. It would be interesting to go for a check raise there against an opponent that I would expect to be stabbing a lot if I check to them. <coughs> you get that a lot in heads up games, like, you know, people that are just going to bet in position when checked to. So on that turn I could check and then they would just put it and then I'll get it all in and like they have a draw, they just feel committed because it's such a draw heavy board. So just something to consider. outmaneuver them, you know. I check back here and hope to hit two pair. 
That's not too fair. Ah, uh, just give up. Could be winning and we are. No real need to bluff. I don't think I'm getting into folds a bit of hand than us. And we get three bet by a regular on the button. So only calling and check folding this flop obviously. We've got a gut shot back or plus draw, but there's an SPR of three, so I presume he's gonna bet like three euros here and we can't continue. And we get three bet by a short stack guy, certainly calling and bricking the flop completely. So gonna be giving giving up on that one as well. Sucks when you don't hit flops, but part of the game. So I quite like this setup anyway. Um, six max and heads up. Hopefully later on we'll get some proper heads up games because I think heads up are just way better. Sharpens your skills way quicker than playing six max. Because as you can imagine, you're playing six max. You're only playing like, you know, 20, 30% of your hands. And then, uh, even then you're like forced to fold because it goes multi-way. You know, so you're not actually playing many hands to the river. And you're, you know, your turn play and your river play is not really ever improving, or very slowly, I think. Because <clears throat> it's such a large percent of it, percentage of hands you're not actually even playing, right? Uh, and heads up, you just have to play, you know, have to play 80% of your hands or you'll just get run over. So we'll go for the 8-8 deuce deuce. We're looking to flop 8-4-4. I've got the four bit right. I'd rather that. I'm not too keen if it comes ace king deuce so though. That's for sure. So I don't mind it coming ace king four. So the pre-flop razor checks all around. Super premium, guys. Super premium. I need all your energy for this one. All your energy. We're doing it. Pumping it up. Pumping it up, buddy. That's not a good flop, man. We've got all the Broadway cards except the king, bro. Except the king. Just give up. So much promise in this hand. So much promise. Yeah, I just let you have it. Plus, the turn brings the spade as well. So now look, we make a straight, but it's with the spades. It's not like it was the three of hearts. Obviously, as a king, this guy floated with like a pair of nines, bro. How can we lose that hand? It's so damn good. Had them both crushed pre-flop. Crushed, I tell you. <sighs> All right, let's do this. So, did we 3-bet? I think we 3-bet. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to sort the music out. I'm not sure what's happened here. But 
I don't know. When in doubt, just bet, you know. And you'll find out. Good three bet this hand. Just to get it. I mean, as long as you understand it's not like a super strong hand or anything. <clears throat> but heads up it's it heads up it's a decent hand, right? But four ways it's a bad hand. So like if he opens, I need to free bet just to get these guys out of the pot. Because if I call and they call, my hand is not worth playing, right? But by just forcing them out of the pot, my flush draws become more valuable, my straight draws become more valuable. But overall, uh, it's a hand that definitely looks a lot better than it is really. So. Now that is a rather favourable flop. Flop middle pair, a wrap, two back row flush drops. Very strong. I mean, I think the best hand he's going to have here is going to be just a pair of jacks, right? With, with over cards. So. I expect a load of folds there. But, what are you into? I mean, if you would. If his stats didn't look so tight, I could just even I could even just check there because we're not folding any turn cards and like our hand is so strong anyway. But you guessed it. He's not an aggressive player, so he's not gonna do that kind of thing. Yeah, I would say that on this site, the games are probably the toughest. I mean, I know Stars is tough, but like, this site is pretty tough, man. Like, I think there's more regs at this, like, at these stakes than on any other site. Maybe even Poker Stars, yeah. I'm certainly going to play my ace, deuce, five, nine, double suited, suited, bada booted, bada bisham, bada bottom, bada bisham, biffin, biffin, chip, bottom, chip, zap. Come on, the diamonds. Come on, the diamonds. Pow. Yeah, buddy. Going to lead out. Flop two pair. Not flush draw, buddy. Let's go. Lead out. Fold, fold. I can lead out there with just the Ace of Diamonds as well. Just to balance the time where I do have the Nut Plus draw. Wow. Set of Aces, man. We raised. Two callers, block the nuts. Betting on the smaller side. Just because we want to be C betting this board a lot anyway with the ace. Not the best turn card, obviously. Let me go ahead and check. And we're going to go for a value bet now. table we raise flop two pair bad turn card obviously 
Go ahead and check back and hope for no diamond. If he bets, it would be interesting, but probably would fold considering they are always nips. So I'm hoping to get another heads up opponent before I stop the video, you know. Because at the moment that's my game. There is somebody playing here. Let me see who they are, man. See if they'll play me. I think it's the same guy that was there before, man. See if he chooses to play me. I hope he would. I think it might be the same dude from before. It might be time for a name change. Yeah, they don't play. They don't play, man. Folding here. Fold on the button here. We don't want to get involved with the weak hands and encourage multi way action. I'm just trying to get it heads up, man, you know. Cool here are the queens. see betting this flop like nearly all the time really bro donking have you ever donked in your life I'm just gonna go ahead and raise I just think he might be full of shit it's a dryish flop there we go too easy man they just these knit regs are just like okay I gotta do something they don't really fight back you know I just expect that from them. But yeah we've got a uh, we've got a heads up opponent which is great news, really great news, man. Don't leave, don't you dare leave, thank you. And on this table, we will be check raising, uh, bottom set and open and uh, bargain. Let's do it. Let's go to six. Six seems too much. Maybe five, five, yeah. Five was the number, guys. Five was the number. Misplayed, miscalculated, you know. Forgive me. Forgive me. Heads up table, we're gonna bluff the river. We're going for it, man. Boom. He folds, man, he folds. I know he folds. It's too easy, man. Too easy. Free betting me, huh? I'm peeling with bottom pair. I'm a daredevil. And now I've got a bottom pair, a gut shot, and a flush draw. Watch me jam it, cram it in his face, man. And he folds. It's too easy, man, it's too easy. It's just not, it's not fun when it's like this, man. I just crushed the motherfuckers, man. Huh? And I'm here. 
This guy... Ah, oh, my HUDs are all the, on the wrong tables. What do I have? King 3. I think I might be behind. But I'll check. King Jack, yeah. Yeah, 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 makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My HUDs are all on the wrong table. Check raise the flop, bottom two pair. I mean top and bottom pair. That's a bad river card. We're gonna block a bit. And <laughs> we get value. Oh. It's not fair on these. Not fair on these. Ah, I just realized I didn't show you that, that hand actually. My, guy, my bad guys. But just know that I crushed him, you know? That's all you need to know, really. I can three bed this hand. It's high carded. High carded enough. Pretty bad flop. But we can win with a nine or a queen. Maybe with an ace or a king, who knows? Yeah, ace is good. Queen is the nuts. Boom, boom, boom. And he's out. Pam, pam. He's back. Oh man, I love it when they reload. Not because like I'm gonna crush their soul, you know, just because, guys, you don't understand how hard it is for me to get a heads up opponent on the video, you know? I try so hard to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and raise, for sure. Top pair, open ender, flush your, unbelievable. I, I don't fold to three bets, guy. I'm sorry. My hand is super weak, guys. Don't do this. Don't raise and then call this hand. I only do it if you're a pure beast, okay? If you're a pure beast, I'll allow it. Just this once. All right. I'm going for a free bet. Let's go for a bit of a different, a bit of a different sized play. See what he does. Betting small, huh? Uh, we can go for a check raise here if he bets. Definitely. I love it. I love the check raise here. Why would you put it, bro? Ah, uh, he has the 10. He has the 10. I mean, it really makes sense. We don't have much fold equity when he pops it, obviously. But, uh... we got to go for it, you know? We've just got to go for it sometimes. And we're going for a bit on this table with our flush draw. And queen blocker. Everybody calling. This seems like a good turn card, for sure. This guy's pretty deep, right, with me? So we're at 10, at uh, 30, and now you've got 20. Cool, man. We can get stacks, bro. We can get stacks. Everybody folds. Of course they do. Of course they do. Bring on the net regs. Anyway, back to this dude who we're gonna crush. We're gonna crush him. Can I go for three streets against this dude? Get value from his king, man. Couldn't get three streets. I tried, I tried. I really tried to get three streets. Go 
bottom of range here. I feel like I must bluff, but it doesn't make too much sense. But let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. Got the overpair and the gut shot. Go for a flat call. I think this guy's full of shit here, y'all. Look at that, Alex. They're so kind, man. So kind. And we're going to just flat call our aces. We're going to mix it up, the mixer, the blender. Okay? We're going to lead turn as a bluff. Interesting river decision. Got to call that. Get value, mate. Induce the bluff. I was thinking of just going for value in case he has, obviously, two pair there. Very weird merge bluff by him. I think he probably was value betting, to be honest, with king-queen. Top set, but a top set. Just going to be potting because there's a lot of draws and the guys are fish. And we're getting it in. Please have jacks. Oh, six is even better, buddy. Dead to a six. Unlucky, young buddy. And on this table, double suited fives. Raising in the small blind. Flopping a set. Just potting, yeah. Just potting it. Whatever. If he has me, he has me, right? And on this table, I feel bad for the dude who just reloaded, right? Return top set. River quads, but he's folded, so... Looks like he has ace king here. Go for the C bet. See what's popping. So we're going to just go back to the heads up table. More action here, right? We can three bet this hand because it just looks so damn good. Stacking off on this flop, obviously. But now that we turn a flush, we can do some inducing. Obviously, he can have us beat as well, which kind of sucks, right? Because we have the 5-6, so it's a bit less likely he has straight draws on the flop. So if he was to bluff the river, it's kind of like meh. Let's see what kind of hand he had there. He had 9-6, right? So he was betting a uh, two pair on the turn. I see people, like I mentioned before, too scared to bluff with the middle of their range. Like he's got two pair on a flush board. He's too scared to like bluff with it. I'm going for a check call here. And we go for a three bet. Not going to be folding here. Hmm. Or are we? <laughs> Maybe we are folding here. He has to have a jack, right? Like we have. We have the nut flush draw, right? 
What other hands are you raising here? Yeah. I think we actually have to fold, right? Yeah, it's just... I mean, you could have a flush draw as well, but... Obviously, we have... We have some spades, man. The best spades you can get, so... More likely, he just has a jack, right? I'm going for a... Check here. <laughs> I wanted to bet. I got 10 blocker, right? But, uh... He's just floating me on the flop with a gut shot, right? Just floating me on the flop with a gut shot. With, like, however many big blinds he has. So, it's pretty safe to say the guy is a weaker player. Unfortunately for him. Recreational player, they might call them. And I'll probably check raise this flop here, right? Bottom pair and a wrap. Let's go for a check raise. Shove the turn. We'll get it in the flop. He has us in kind of bad shape because he has the 9. It's a shame he just doesn't have the uh, the 10 jack. So then we would be ahead with the uh, pair of 4s. But yeah, you've got to have some raises that aren't just the nuts every hand, right? So that when we have the nuts on this hand, we can actually play it super aggressive and expect to get some calls. Not a good river card. We do have the king of clubs, though. We can beat 3-5, yo. I don't know if value betting this river card's too thin. Ah, uh, check. Yeah. He does have a... I think his most likely hand is a straight. I mean, he had a set and a straight by the river, but... I think I probably should value bet that river card. I mean, we have the king of clubs, but it's not that relevant because he's calling with any flush right on the river. So it looks like he's gone on tilt. He's uh, playing super aggressive right now. Telltale sign. So probably not going to be looking to bluff him massively right now. Um, going to call a river bet here if he bets. If he pots it, I don't love it. Against that size bet, I definitely love a call. Same hand, mate. Same hand. I'm going to fold this hand. Super weak. Over pair and a gut shot, right? Calling a turn as well, for sure. Wow, he's putting it. It's so fishy. I'm going to bear the river. We make the straight. Folding to a raise. I don't expect him to be raising like as a bluff that often. Perhaps could have gone for a check call. So he looks like he's some monkey tilt. Just free betting and C betting every flop. Pop. So we're going to be looking to uh, exploit that if we hit something first. Uh, we can't fight back with this gut shot.
I'm just going to be flat calling here because like he's going to be barreling like a madman. He's on tilt, so I just let him bluff the river. If he beats me, then so be it, right? Yeah. Triple barreling aces of value. Peeling with a queen, right? Wow. I'm jamming here with uh, the nine blocker. We've got queen blocker for that. I think it's hard for him to have any strong hands there, you know? So, I think it's a great bluff by us. Fantastic bluff. But even against a tilt monkey, it's possible, you know? And we'll just let him barrel it off. If he has an eight, so be it, you know? Ah, he has an eight. What are you gonna do? That's the cost of slow playing sometimes, but when a guy's playing ultra aggressive, you have to let him bluff, you know? You have to let him bluff. Gonna raise the turn. Okay. Maybe you do have a flush. Nope. A set of nines. People hate folding sets, you know. Hate folding sets. Go for another raise on the flop. Go for a double barrel. Okay. I guess you really have it then, buddy, eh? There you are. That is a super weak open. I'm snap folding if he three bets. Snap folding if he three bets. However, I'm snap three betting this hand. Snap three betting this hand. Snap betting the flop. Why are you min raising me, bro? Oh, wow. Well. What a turn card. We have to see a river card. That's such a bad river card. Yo. Unfortunate. And here we got a nice double suited hand. Going for the three bet, for sure. Flop top pair. Go for a bet on turn. Yeah, I'm gonna probably just give up there. I think he has like a king eye flush draw or a queen eye flush draw a lot. And we don't have much fold equity. Well, wow, ace, queen, four, five. Well, against that exact hand, we most definitely have some fold equity. Right, I think that's going to conclude the video. It's a shame this guy wasn't um, here in the beginning. Just getting it in here. And we're ahead. And then we are behind. Unfortunately. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I've got to go now. Um, been emotional, yeah. There we go. Uh, tune in next time. We'll play some heads up and some six max or whatever we fancy. It's been emotional. <laughs>